Yeah, new series. Always fun, right? Yeah. And this is basically gonna be animal stories that you guys don't know of. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm gonna do something called Fish Week since it's gonna be all about fishes because I just got one and I love him. How you doing, Delta? You chilling there? Okay, have fun. Well, yeah, while well, Delta does his thing, I'm gonna tell you a story about the most fancy, like, koi pond I've seen in my life. So there's this pet store down the road from us called Magic Isle, which sells all sorts of aquatic stuff. Like, you can go in there, and your mom gives the guy a little bit of money, and they give you a bowl full of koi fish food, and you can throw the food in the koi pond and watch the koi eat the food you give them. And these koi are like, like, huge. It's like, it's like this. It's a big fish. Like, they're huge, at least like a foot long. If you live somewhere else, it's a third of a meter long. So yeah, they were big fish. And that was like what you did if you were like me. If you were like me, every time you went to that store, you fed the koi fish. That's what happened. So like all the time I'd be like, and like it had a completely open area and then glass so you could see underwater. Similar to Delta's tank, where it has a hole in the top that you can see into the tank with. Honestly, guys, the tank that Delta has isn't as big as it looks. I'm gonna need to get decoration for it, though. I'd only do two, though. Like, maybe a coral in there. But, yeah. So, back to the story. So yeah, I always used to go in there and feed the kois because they were cool. Other things that happened. My cousins, me, my grandma, and both my cousins now at least have one dog. We're a dog family. But I'm a fish dude. I like fish. Fish are cool. So at the end, I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's about time. I want to do five, five, no, six thirty, three, and seven, except on the weekends. Then I'm going to do ten and five. So there's about like a seven hour difference between feedings. Seven, maybe a little more, but I space it out fairly well. So I'll feed them before I go to bed. But I'm going to give him some food at the end of the video. And you can see. So he's got to be hungry. But I really haven't been eating much. So anyway. um, Other stories for the video. We'll go for about five minutes of stories and such. Stories. Um, so my cousins have two big dogs. A chocolate lab and a mix. I mean... They're two pretty big dogs. And you open the door and they assault you. They're like, person! And they come running full speed at you. It's like, gone. And it's like, it's like, oh, 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 oh dang. Like, you enter panic mode. Like, like you enter self-defense ninja mode. Like, back up, bro. And... So they were energetic and they had an old playroom and we usually kept it barricaded because we don't want the dogs with us. They are intimidating. This is when I was younger guys. I am not afraid of these dogs anymore. I just don't pet them when we first get there. Um, so yeah, we used to barricade the door and then they'd break in and we would be like, oh dang, and we would jump on the couch and start cringing because you don't need a door to open and all of a sudden 
the first three Jurassic Park movies start screaming at you. It's just like, make it end. Other fish stories, I had a goldfish. Yeah, we had two goldfish. One of them I don't think was a goldfish. Basically, we had two fish. You get them from a carnival. Like, this market opened up by us, like, a year ago. And the day they opened, they had this thing that weekend. Where it was... You could get your kid to decorate a cupcake. And then they get to take home a fish. It was really weird. I'm pretty sure my fish killed my brother's fish. Because we were feeding them a little bit of food. And, like, they would eat together. But I think that my fish actually helped starve my brother's fish to death because i think my fish ate all the food so like we put the food in it'd be gone and by the time when my brother's fish died my fish was like really fat and like i think we've been eating too much so we were putting in enough for both of them keep your fish separate like we did with our betas But I personally am in love with a beta fish. They are your best friend. Like, they can be trained to recognize their owners, and they're awesome. So yeah, um, I starved. I had a fish that starved other fish to death. And I mean, this fish lasted a while. He were he was like alive for like a solid six months. Hi Delta, how you doing? <laughs> Delta's looking at me while I'm making a video. Am I weird, Delta? Am I weird? Do I just keep talking to a camera? Am I weird? Oh no, you see the food. All right. Well then, this is a good opportunity to feed him. So, what you guys gotta do, you gotta take the food. You gotta open the food, right? I'm gonna open it over here. Cause, yeah. You gotta open the food container. Once your food container is open, guys, um, you're gonna have to find something to stand up. Um, I'll use Baymax, I guess. Baymax will hold the camera. Yes, Delta, it's food time. Are you excited? Of course you're excited. Ignore Baymax. Hello, everyone. Hi, Baymax. You need a camera stand, can't you? There we go. So guys, once you have your food container, what you do, you pull your sleeve up, because just in case your sleeve falls in the water, and you pick up a small little pinch, about that big. And you sprinkle very lightly into the bowl. So I just sprinkled a little bit in there, and wait for him to eat a little. It's alright, little dude. He wants to know if your fish is eating well. And you don't want to keep it in there for too long, because if you keep it in there for too long, it'll make the water dirty. Come on, buddy, look. Up here. Go get it. I recommend keeping a paper towel roll up there as well, because the fish food's going to get all over your fingers. Oh, he's used to sinking food. I'm gonna give him a pellet as well. There's a pellet right here. I want to give it to him. So I'm gonna drop that in back there. What do you got, man? So, yeah, that's how you feed a beta fish, I guess. I don't know what this was. Did I go with that? Yes, I did. Here, that time it got in. Come on, Delta. Eat for the camera. Come on. Have some nibbles. Oh, it's sinking. That's what you wait for so you can eat it off the rocks. Maybe I should try and find sinking food for you. Like those pellets they were giving you. The beta bites, maybe. So, that is basically how I feed him. He really looks very dark. Um, does he? Can you see him? No, he doesn't look dark on camera. <laughs> there we go. He's eating a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Tank rubs. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Come 
on, enjoy the food, it's your dinner. Buddy, that's all yours. You can eat as much of it as you want. You're not hungry? You don't want? I mean, don't have anything to take it out, so yeah, leave it there. I mean, you need one of those scoopers that you can drain out. Because I'm going to need to take them out one day. So I'm actually going to try a little experiment. Can you see my hand? Yeah, you can. I'm going to take this and put it inside of his tank and see his reaction. I tried when I first brought him home. He wasn't having it. How is he going to engage with his new friend? Nerve. Definitely afraid of it. But you can see the fin flaring there. He's afraid of it. So I'll get rid of that. Don't worry. All gone, Delta. No more. It's all gone, see? Just gonna, gonna keep that behind it. So I'm probably gonna hide the fish food out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind for the fish. Fish food only needs to come out during eating. But she's nibbling and I'm so happy that he's eating. Good boy, Delta. Good boy. And the great thing about this fish food, which I probably never told you guys, that's, that has color enhancers. It's going to make his fins more bright and vibrant like they would in the wild. So these things live for a while and I'm going to raise him well. And who knows, maybe next year. For, like... My birthday, I'll get a beta. And then I'll have betas for the rest of my life. The problem is that I'm gonna have a lot of tanks. Yeah, but I can fit a lot. I can fit. If you move this into the corner, one, two, three. And this is assuming I use the same one because I definitely want to get different rocks though. I like the idea of having vibrancy. Because this is white on white on white. Making the beta pop. But depending on what color, like say you had a white beta, that'd be white on white on white on white. And I picked the right beta and had a dark one. <laughs> He's looking at me and I'm so happy. Yeah, I only gave him a little bit. Good boy. Did you eat it all? Buddy, go eat all your food. Eat the food. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, Delta. And I have a little, little red nib just off screen. Like, that's supposed to filter the food. So I'm going to go say hi to Silver, check on Razor, and I'll see you guys in the next video of Animal Stories. <laughs> say bye, Delta. Delta, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Delta, say bye. See like two delta because this is a corner right here. Right here's a corner. Are you seeing a reflection in me? Well, this is the back, right? Oh, I made toys. I'm sorry, Delta. You don't really know what they're doing there. Oh, I see. It's um, this is a water line, isn't it? Yeah, that's the water line. That's what you're seeing. There's only one beta. One beta, which is right there. Right there. Boop, boop. There's only one. And the other one is the refraction of him. So the one that you see closer to the center of the screen is the real one. The other one is just, I don't know. Yeah, oh well. See you guys later. Bye. Delta, say bye.